Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. I'm in Whitewater, Wisconsin again, uh, making my second video today. Um, wanted to show you the oldest water tower in Wisconsin. Uh, there is one other water tower that's not really considered a water tower. I guess they call it a handpipe. I had to look. I wrote it on my hand. Couldn't remember. <clears throat> in Baraboo, Wisconsin, that's just as older, older. Uh, but that's not considered a water tower. A water tower is where the tank is supported on top. And I guess a standpipe, the water is through the whole thing and through the center of the thing, but kind of the whole middle of the water tower. Anyways, that's my understanding. I guess there's a difference between them. So anyways, this is technically, I guess, the oldest water tower in Wisconsin. Um, there's a lot of folklore and stuff with this old water tower, and uh, supposedly uh, this is uh, kind of like the little, what do they call it, uh, in Massachusetts where the witches used to gather, uh, Salem. This is kind of the Salem of Wisconsin, Whitewater, Wisconsin. Uh, <clears throat> I never heard nothing about it until I started watching YouTube videos and stuff about it. and I never really heard about it. We used to have family reunions up here, and it's, it's located here in Starin Park. Um, you and I was a kid, and I never heard anything about that. Uh, so anyways, I don't, I'm not a big, huge believer in the folklore, but I'll share it with you and let you uh, see what you you can believe what you want I'll leave some links down in the description and uh, you can um, check out the links uh, they kind of explain everything a lot more clear and uh, more uh, more uh, in-depth of what I'm gonna do today so make sure you check them links out down in my description uh, there will be at least one possibly two maybe even more than that but at least two one or two so, anyways, let me turn this camera around here so I can show you the water tower we're talking about. There's the old water tower right there. I'm standing back pretty far from it. I'll go up there closer just a minute. I just wanted to give you a full view of the whole thing. Uh, it's uh, kind of hard to see through the trees there. Supposedly, uh, the tower, I believe, is 100 feet tall. And I think the tank is another 20 to 30 feet, from what I understand. Um, uh, the videos that I left in the description, I think will explain that to you a little bit more clear. I think I'm right on that. Uh, I'm going to just show you a quick view of the park here where it's located so you can see all around here. It's on top of a big old hill. That's why they put it up here, I guess, so it can the water tower can have pressure to force the water to the houses in the local area. There was um, some talk about restoring the water tower and keeping it in use or else possibly building another water tower. Um, but they would still leave this tower here is what I'm, my understanding is. Um, I guess they want to restore it, but it all depends on how much money it's going to cost to restore. So, Anyways, we'll walk up there closer to it and I'll be right back with you. Well, here I'm up pretty close to it. They got a gate around it because they have problems with uh, kids uh, or college students and stuff. Uh, they get kind of drunk once in a while and they want to get inside there. And they had one go in there probably, I think it was five, six years ago. He got over the fence and uh, he went, climbed up that, well, that pipe right there all the way up there, which is a long, long ways down. And I think he was under the influence, from my understanding. And he got on that platform, climbed in, got inside. He had a big old knife with him, and he cut a bunch of wires. And uh, supposedly his mission was to rid the city of Whitewater from witches. That's what I understand from watching the videos. Um, this fence was supposed to stop that, but he still got over it and climbed up that big old thing. Um, the water superintendent did catch him inside and held him back till the police got here and evidently when he got in the police car he just couldn't remember nothing he was that far out of it um, another thing they told me on the videos is this fence used to be different uh, used to have barbed wire on top but it was actually installed wrong um, where the barbed wire instead of leaning to out towards the outside to keep the people from getting in. It was installed the opposite way, so it was leaning inwards. And the rumor was that it was installed that way 
that's the rumor that went around, I guess. I don't know how it got started, but anyways, it was installed that way to keep the witches from getting out. <laughs> you can see a lot of the spikes on top have been broke off by people trying to get in there. Um, I guess they take the bars too, as you can see right here, and spread them apart. Try to get in there. It's crazy, it's crazy stuff people do. Let me just kind of let you look up, see how tall it is while I'm standing right underneath it. It's, it's a cool old building, but it is starting to fall apart up above. Their old water tower, I guess you call it. Sounds like they believe that the rock was hauled up here from Chicago, Illinois. There's no, not certain about that, but that's what they believe. I think that's where the guy that built it was from. Uh, they had two, two crews building this, so I'm not sure how that all worked. Um, maybe they split the days up, I'm not sure how that worked. Um, supposedly the walls on the bottom are eight feet across or eight feet thick and then as they go up they get thinner and thinner and at the very top they're uh, two feet thick so I thought that was pretty interesting eight eight foot thick walls on the bottom to support it so that's pretty cool I hope they can uh, save this and restore it because it's a pretty cool thing But anyways, there's lots of folklore and um, old sayings and stuff that the witches all used to meet around this tower at night and stuff. And there's other people have come up here supposedly and worshiped the tower and all this and that. So I don't know what's true and what ain't. Not a big believer in all that stuff, but I'll let you guys believe what you want. I tried to ask people on my Facebook to try to find some old timers around the area if they knew anything about it. Nobody seems to know anything about the old, his, the rumors and stuff. Or else they just don't want to say, I don't know. But. And if you watch the videos that I post in the links, you'll be able to see the inside of this place. The water superintendent takes the people through the inside so it's kind of cool so anyways I wanted to show this to you I thought it was a pretty cool thing Can you imagine climbing that tower when you've been had a few drinks in you guys lucky he's alive bad enough getting over that fence with the spikes on it Supposedly there used to be picnic tables around here and there they carried they would carry them all up to here So they could leap over the top I'm not sure if they got the picnic tables um, All locked down Or what because there's like a that little building where they have events up here I think there's picnic tables in there, but they might be cabled down or something They say in the video too how f I think there's a cement base underneath here. I'm not sure how far that is. I'm sure it's really wide to support all that weight. As you can see here, it's quite a raised up hit area. I'm guessing underneath that grass there's some concrete. So anyways, that was pretty much all I wanted to show you is the oldest water tower in Wisconsin and tell you a little bit of its history or folklore. And uh, if you got some time, I'll show you the rest of a little bit more of the park around here. I'll walk around the park a little bit and show you some of the park. Um, if you don't want to watch the park, that's fine too. Um, I appreciate you all watching my videos. That's great.
But I'm just gonna walk around the park. As you know, I need to get some exercise, so let's go for a little walk. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it to you, but the UW Whitewater is right over in this area. I don't know exactly what that building is there, but it's all connected. Like you go here and just keep on going. It's Most of it's all UW Whitewater. Another thing that was said in the videos, there's supposedly a book in the UW Whitewater that the witches supposedly left behind, and if anybody looks at it or reads it they'll either die or they'll go insane or something like that um, but there has been people that have looked at it and they're still alive and still good so that's kind of interesting they also connect the witch thing here uh, with I think three cemeteries and I think if you watch my Indian Mounds one, I believe that is one of them, and there's two other cemeteries, and supposedly it makes some kind of a triangle at the witches. I don't remember the name of it. and um, That'll be in one of the videos that I leave in the links. And supposedly in, within that triangle is where all the paranormal stuff happens around here in Whitewater, or most of it anyways. So anyways, I'm gonna go take a walk and see what we can see in the park. This uh, building right here, I think there's a couple buildings like that, but one of these buildings when I was a kid is where we used to have our family reunions, I remember, years and years ago. Looks like we got some horseshoe pits down here. It's another super, super windy day here in Wisconsin. So hopefully my microphone is doing its job, keeping everybody, keeping it quiet so you can hear me. I just thought this would be kind of a cool little video coming up. Halloween's coming up show you that old water tower and talk about some of its history. Uh, horseshoe pits, a lot of them. Park's been here a long time. I noticed when I drove in there is a some kind of a statue or something up here. I'm gonna go see what that is. Here where the flag is. Pretty nice flowers yet. It's getting to be fall around here and the flowers are starting to come to their peak. Oh, that's cool. Uh, this side's a World War II memory, memorial. Cool eagle on top. Did 
Dedicated to those who preserved our freedom, July 4th, 1986. Very nice. Can't remember the name of those. I have some of them at home. Mine are kind of a, more of a whitish color flower though. I think they're serenium or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, I'm not no tree expert, but I believe these are cedar. I know if you squeeze the leaves, they smell really good. And I'm not sure if this is phlox. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know what these are, but they're cool. Oh, keep moseying on here. another building to have family reunions and picnics or whatever you want to have in there lots of room in there it's a huge long long picnic tables let me tell you Look at these flowers. Isn't that pretty? Let's go get a close up view of them. Oh, yeah. Very nice. You know, a little playground down there for the kids, little kids. A little place up here to have picnics. If you don't get hit in the head by a, a walnut. They seem to be falling right in this area. There's one right there. Here we got the bathrooms here. I got a baseball diamond down there. A couple baseball diamonds. There's another one up back further. Now I'm not sure if that's part of the park or if that's part of the school. Back here, got some kids playing basketball. Way back there. You can see them, maybe. And then we got Mr. Squirrel up here. Let me see if I can get him on camera.
There he is. See him hopping through the grass? Tickling his belly. Gotcha, Mr. Squirrel. Pretty far away, but I gotcha. Squirrels all over here running around. Well, that's pretty much it. Let me turn this camera around here quick. Thank you everyone for stopping by. Hope you liked the video. And we'll catch you on the next Wisconsin Greg Show. Have a great day everyone. Bye now.